Hello everyone, my name is Jody Griffiths. I'm a certified veterinary technician and I do technical support for the veterinary segment at Standard Process. Just in the last week, I've had three friends that have called me super excited because they decided to bring home a puppy or adopt a dog from a shelter or bring home a new kitten. They called me because they wanted to know and to get some ideas on what they can be doing to get these dogs and kittens off to a great start. And the first thing that I thought to talk to them about is the immune system. Anytime a new animal is brought into your home, anytime a new family member is added, there are going to be some changes, not only for your current family members, but also for the new animal that's coming in. Um, there could be just the, the new dynamic of having a new animal in your house. And some of those changes could be leaving mom and siblings for them, uh, possibly, possibly being spayed or neutered, vaccinations. Anytime there are changes, those changes could potentially be stressful for them. And stress can play a big role in the health of the body. One of the areas that stress can can potentially affect is the immune system. And so this is a great opportunity to talk about how important supporting the immune system is. And it's not only for our young patients, but it's also for the senior animals as well. Even though the young animals should be healthy and they hopefully are, are off to a good start already, we want to make sure that some of those stresses that they are enduring are not going to compromise their immune function because what's happening now could potentially have a huge impact in the health of their body moving forward. So we want to make sure that we're supporting the body and that we're paying attention to some of the different areas that make up the, the immune system. The immune system is a complex array of different cells and there's multiple different areas of the body that contribute to immune function or make up the immune system. Some of the main areas that I think of are, are the thymus gland, um, bone marrow, but we also want to think about the liver, the skin, the spleen, um, lymph nodes, lymph vessels. All of these different areas of the body work closely together as part of the immune system. And when we're thinking about supporting the immune system, yes, we want to support the young animals, but we also want to support our senior animals as well, and really any animal in between. Um, every animal could benefit for support for the immune system. How do we support the immune system? Nutrition is the first thing that I think of. Nutrition plays a huge role in the health of the body. Um, every animal has different nutritional requirements. Even litter mates potentially could have different nutritional requirements. And if we're paying closer attention to what our pet's nutritional needs are, and when I'm talking nutrition, I'm talking more than just opening a bag of pet food or opening a can of cat food or, or dog food. For me, it's more thinking about looking at the body as a whole and taking a step back and paying attention to the fact that animals have different nutritional needs. Standard Process has some immune support supplements that you could certainly talk to your veterinarian about, or if you're a veterinarian or a veterinary professional, you could consider one of these supplements for your own patients. Canine immune system support, feline immune system support, and equine immune support are going to be whole food based supplements that will provide a wide variety of different foods that are going to provide nutrients that will support the different areas of the body. And we don't have to wait until our animals are showing signs of compromise before we think about adding in some immune support. We can certainly think about support for the immune system as part of a wellness plan as well. We'd like to stay ahead of some of these nutritional deficiencies from building up over time. And with, with the hopes of doing that, our animals are going to experience just a, a better quality of life. They're going to be more healthy. They're going to be more energetic. So I encourage you to talk to your veterinarian about your, your animals, or if you're bringing new animals home during this time, talk to them about the importance of supporting their immune system. And they're going to be able to partner with you to help you identify what the best way is to make sure that you're getting these new family members off to a great start. So thank you for listening today. Um, I hope that you take care and that you're safe and that you're healthy. And I'll see you next time.